A very good morning to all the students. Hope you had a wonderful journey with Code Over 2021 International. And you have submitted your projects to the competition. Now it's a high time for the evaluations. In this video, we would be discussing about the evaluations in detail. That is how the evaluations of the project have to be done. Also, what are the things you have to do it from your side for completing the evaluations. So let's go to the website of CodeAward 2021, that is CodeAward.org and understand the process. So students, here is the CodeAward website. I think you are very much familiar with this website. As you can see, the Submissions have already been closed and now the evaluation time has come. So students, you have to all log in into your account where you submitted your project. So please click on login. Please use your username and password to log in your own account. Once you would be logged in into your Codeable dashboard, you would be able to see that you cannot submit your project, but you can still update your project from your update project option. But the most important point is that you have to go into the evaluation portal to complete the evaluations. Here, there is an important notice which is mentioning about the self-evaluation and the peer evaluation, which has to be completed by the students before 28th Feb 2022. So let's go inside the evaluation portal and understand what are the different types of evaluations are there. So once you were logged in into your dashboard and once you in, go inside the evaluation portal, you would be able to see your final project. Also, you would be able to see a pop-up that is complete the self and the peer evaluation. Let's understand what exactly the self and a peer evaluation means. To start with peer and the self evaluation, Please click on this option. Once you will be able to click it, you would be able to see all the details of your project as well as your own project video. Here students, there are three types of evaluation. First, that is self-evaluation. That means you need to self-evaluate yourself by filling a small form. The second, the peer evaluation. That means you have to help uh, other students who have submitted the projects in their evaluations, like you would be upvoting that project. We would be showcasing you everything in this video. So be the part of the video till the end. Let's first start with the self-evaluation. To start with the self-evaluation, which contains 10 marks, you have to submit your response by clicking on submit your response button. Once you click this button, you would be able to see pop up with five different questions where you have to rate yourself that how much efforts you have given to the project. The first question says learning the required AI and coding concept. You can rate it as uh, what efforts you have put in and what are the final things you have got out of the code ever for you. For demonstration, I am putting four on all the questions, but as a student, you have to honestly evaluate yourself. Once you will click on submit, your self-evaluation form will be submitted to us. So now your 
self evaluation form has been submitted the next is peer evaluation which contains 20 marks here students you would be evaluating the co participants that means the students who <clears throat> submitted their projects or were the part of the codeaver competition make sure do not forget to share your links to the students who were part of the codeaver since they were your peers they were the students who were the uh, your colleagues in this codeaver competition you would be able to upvote them as well as receive a upvotes from them so let's see how we can do a peer evaluation here you would be able to see two options first copy url and explore project you can explore your project explore all the projects submitted to the portal of the codeaver by all the students of who were the part of the codeaver and here you can see all the projects these are aligned in alphabetical order with their project name so you can just search and see the different projects by clicking on view project and then click on upvote to give them a vote once you have upvoted them you you can go back and check the other projects don't forget to check the project details of the project you are uploading and see the project video what they have created the next here students you can also directly upload by clicking on upload button on the top screen of the video so here you would be able to see the name of the project as well as a small sneak sneak peek of the video so you can just go and see the complete video and upload the different projects also the next is how you would be receiving an upload with others so for this you can click on copy url or can share your uh, project link by clicking on any option like facebook whatsapp telegram twitter pinterest or email the link to your friends you will click on whatsapp and you would be having this link coming up here you can click on continue chat and share this link of your project to the friends make sure you are sharing the link to the friends who were part of the codeaver as i mentioned they were the peers uh, for you in this codeaver journey so only the students who were part of the codeaver will be able to upvote you or receive a upvote the next part of the evaluation contains a jury evaluation which would be done by a jury of the codeaver committee which contains 70 marks where the 10 marks would be given to the project description 20 marks to the project file and the 40 marks for the project video i hope you might have got a good idea how the complete evaluation process look like so don't wait now complete your self evaluation form by submitting your responses start sharing your links to the friends who were part with you into the codeaver journey and have already registered and don't forget to upvote your friends is really important as you can see upvoting other projects will give you 10 marks so now it's a high time students start evaluating yourself giving a upvote to the friends who have done a really good job and the evaluations once done the results will be announced soon before ending this video i would like to tell the complete evaluation that is a self evaluation and a peer evaluations have a last date that is 28th feb so please make sure that you complete this self evaluation and peer evaluation before 28th feb i hope you have enjoyed the video you have understood it completely for more details please 
contact your teachers and let us know your doubts. Thank you, everyone.